What's your order? Uh, case with an overview and then the king. Okay. ourselves 
towards pleasure as something that uh, that creates a binary between what is pleasure and what is suffering. We're saying that there is a, that 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 creates a harmful binary, and that that harmful binary shouldn't exist. And that our app allowing for mutilation of the body kind of queers what can be pleasurable but also be painful and suffering at the at the same time. Um, also, Rizanamon, uh, um, also Rizanamon is more nuanced and complicated than they make it out to be. Our desires can be ones of the ones towards violence of our bodies at the at the same time. Okay. The creation of a unitary revolutionary identity embodies a natural organic standpoint for resistance which undermines our other resistance measures. Cyberfeminism solves by creating coalitions through the imagination of resistance identities, Hairway 91. King criticizes the persistent tendency to make one's own political tendencies appear to tell us of the whole. Literally, all other feminisms are either incorporated or marginalized, usually by building an explicit ontology and epistemology, the theoretical and practical struggle against unity through domination or unity through incorporation, ironically, not only undermines the justifications for patriarchy, colonialism, unionism, positivism, essentially scientism, and all other unrelated isms, but all claims for an organic or natural standpoint. The effort to construct a revolutionary identity standpoint has been a part of the prowess of showing off the limits of, ident of, of identification. They essentialize the, they essentialize the way that we, that we must operate within the status quo. We're saying that it's more complicated than this, and the example, an example is how, um, how modifications to the body can be both pleasurable and suffering at, 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 and, and suffering at the same time. There's no meditative truth that describes uh, a meditative truth that describes the way that we interact within the status quo and their use of and their 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 definition of how Rizanamon acts is, um, is is enacting that meta t truth and that oppresses our bodies because it doesn't allow us to escape 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 dualism instead it presses our bodies into the, into those lines so link turn uh, um, also uh, uh, they say there um, okay so link turn uh, modification of the body can be both so for suffering and pleasure it's an in between space and we it, it, um, in, um, and we affirm that in between space as a queer space that can help us escape dualism. So you say that we are either in suffering or in pleasure, but we're saying it's more complicated than that. And this and this goes on to our perm that we can that our perm is to do the act that we can do violence to our own bodies and it's an engagement of subversion of suffering. Part of their impact talks about how when we have Rizanamon we do violence to others in order to get rid of that uh, Rizanamon. We're saying that that Rizanamon uh, um, can be found within ourselves but also we can um, use that Rizanamon to do violence to our own bodies and to recraft, uh, recraft our identity that is more complicated than the way that the, the, the well and that is more complicated than the way that that they say our app is also about how lines are uh, are created. This is the impact to our app is the Ahmed card in in our one AC that talks about how lines are created and bodies are pressed are pressed into those uh, are pre pre pressed into those lines. Our app is a disorientation of what what the body looks like. We're saying that within moments of uh, within these moments of disorientation of what a human body is, because we always view the human body in terms of um, uh, man and woman. We're saying that within the moments of disorientation, when we're, we're in between man and woman, or not man and woman at all, that we can find moments in which we wander into past not created by nihilism and complicate the way that ni ni nihilism works within the status quo. Um, our Ahmed of complicates this because it plays with the desires that we have, both mutilating and, ple and pleasure. Uh, our, 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 our app is about queer theory, and uh, but not just queer theory. It's the queering of theory, turning ideas upside upside down through uh, through orientation. Also, their alternative doesn't solve the K. They're all as big and doesn't have any material application. We root our app in material and ontolo uh, the material and ontological changes. The material changes in that we're able to uh, that literally recraft and change our bodies and the ontological uh, um, uh, effects of that in that we're able to see our identity in a new way that escapes the, the dualisms of the gender within, within, the, within the status quo. Um, also, their alternative doesn't solve our case. They don't solve the gender binary, and this is a disadd to the to the alternative. They don't solve for the way that we can um, it both um, the both the, the way that we can get rid of Rizontama and also get out of the. the both the way that we can get rid of Rizanamon and get out of the binaries of, of the status quo. They keep us locked with it, with within these binaries, within these within the binaries of the status quo. Uh, the, um, and our advocacy is better than their alternative because our advocacy is about queer futures. Queerness isn't about endpoints. It's about it's about creating queer futures. And we do this by creating a queer pedagogy. Queerness never really ends, but we're saying that queerness can create new endless pedagogies for the way that we're able to resist Rizanamon. So you resist the uh, def our definition of Rizantama? Like, I, I don't quite understand your argument about Rizantama. Well, your argument is that suffering, let, uh, that trying to get rid of suffering just leads to more suffering and more violence. That's the root cause of all violence. 
we're saying that we're saying that it's more complicated than that because our desires and the desires and suffering can be intermeshed and intertwined and we're saying that we can use you're saying you're saying that Razanamon will uh, will make us do violence to others because we need like an escape for it. We're saying that we can do that violence to ourselves, both to get rid of the Razanamon and also to recraft identity. So you're saying you are utilizing Razanamon against your own body. Yeah. Okay. And you're saying that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so reconstructing the violence that people are perpetuating upon you upon yourself is better. Say it again. So you are reconstructing the violence that others are performing on you by per performing that violence against yourself, correct? Well, That's like other people press me into lines of being a man. So I'm pressing myself into a space that is completely outside of that. Okay, so, so I'm not recreating the violence, but I'm actually like... So instead of conforming the to their boundaries, you're creating your own little box. Mm, it's not my own little box, it's just who I am. Right, but you're pr you're forcing yourself through an application of resentment against your own body into your own boundary. I think it's a misunderstanding no. of what my partner's argument oh, is. I think that boundaries. he's just saying that desire and pain is more complicated than it seems. Like you're making a binary between uh, between pain and suffering. And my partner is saying, if I don't understand this, that um, that that is more complicated. And through the transference of organs, that we can actually embrace pain within ourselves and actually have enjoyment as well. But it's more complicated that they're not too neat instances that they can actually be combined. Okay, so if we can prove that you don't have to use Rizantamon to solve for this problem, wouldn't that be better? To solve for the gender binary that yes. forces violence? If we could solve for the gender binary without using Rizantamon... Well, I don't know how. I don't know how. Because... Okay. Um, okay, so can you explain your heroine that you want to really Yeah, the one at the top. The creation of the unitary body. Uh, what was the tag again? Which one? The one that you gave us. Oh, yeah. So we're saying that you universalize. We're saying that you universalize like the way that power functions. So it's both the it's both the um, it's both the that like reson it's it's that like resentment explains everything. That all violence is created through resentment. We're saying that it's more complicated than that. That you can't make that universal capital T truth, and an instance of that is like the mutilation that we have in the 1 AC, in which pleasure and violence are both enmeshed within each other. It doesn't, Razanamon doesn't neatly explain that. Okay. 